Fluorine is the ninth element on the periodic table, and it is the most electronegative element. What this means is that it will grab electrons from other atoms very easily to fill its octet. It has seven valence electrons, and it really wants that extra electron to complete this octet, and it will do anything it can to get that extra electron. And this is why if you take elemental fluorine and mix it with any, any other element on the periodic table except for helium and neon, you're going to get a reaction and you're going to make a fluorine compound. So because fluorine is so unbelievably reactive, it is one of the hopefully few elements that I'm not going to be able to show you in pure form. But instead of showing you uh, fluorine in pure form, I'm just going to talk about some everyday uses of fluorine compounds. The most common is in toothpaste, and here I've just got Tom's toothpaste. It says fluoride toothpaste. Now, what this is, it has, toothpaste usually has sodium fluoride or tin fluoride, and the reason people add fluoride to toothpaste a lot of times is because in your teeth are made out of what's called apatite and this apatite is fairly resistant to corrosion but in the presence of weak acids that bacteria make when you eat sugary foods or you know sweet foods then this weak, weak acids will actually start to uh, dissolve and react with your teeth with your appetite with the appetite in your teeth now this appetite has many OH groups, uh, oxygen and hydrogen, and if you replace these OH groups with, uh, fluor with fluorides, then it becomes, instead of appetite, fluoroappetite. And the fluoroappetite is much more resistant to corrosion from acids. Now your teeth are constantly regenerating appetite and making more appetite because your teeth are constantly getting worn down. Now if this regeneration process happens in the presence of sodium fluoride or tin fluoride and some other fluoride, fluoride salts, um, but tin and sodium are the most common cation fluoride salts for toothpaste, then it will start incorporating the fluoride into the appetite and part, some of your teeth will turn into fluoroappetite, which is much more resistant to corrosion from weak acids. So that is the most common use for, uh, fluor for fluoride compounds, for fluorine compounds in everyday life. Because fluorine is so unbelievably reactive, most compounds that it makes are going to be relatively stable. So it's very hard to split them apart again, and that's why the reaction of fluorine with so other elements is so unbelievably re um, intense. Even though I can't really show you any elemental fluorine, I'm still going to tr try to show you how it's uh, made on the commercial scale. And I will probably end up making a few atoms of it. But the amount is so tiny I can do it here in our office. So here I have a glass of water that has some magnesium sulfate dissolved in it. and uh, you can see, you can, uh, fi you can learn the reason why I do this in my hydrogen video. So now I'm going to put some toothpaste in the water, and this toothpaste has uh, sodium fluoride in it, and I'm going to stir it around. This 9 volt battery in, which is going to mostly just do electrolysis to the water, but any sodium fluoride that's in there is also going to be split apart slightly. So it's very, it's basically impossible to see in the camera, but you're going to have to take my word for it. There, I'm creating a few atoms of fluorine here. So that's the best I can do right now. I was going to actually get um, HF for hydrogen fluoride, which when in solution turns into hydrofluoric acid. Um, but then I found out that it, it can cause cardiac arrest and all sorts of bad things. So I, um, I decided not to 
to get it. But if I ever do get the proper safety equipment and do get it, then I will surely post a video of me reacting all sorts of stuff with it. And uh, hydrofluoric acid, when you react uh, metals and metals with it, or any most elements with it, it'll make a fluoride salt and hydrogen gas. Um, to get f pure fluorine out of it, you'd have to do electrolysis of the hydrogen fluoride, but it's still one of the most corrosive acids. 